Hyperrealism is a movement that I started in the late 70s with John DeAndrea and Wayne Hansen. I'm the only woman in the world that does hyperrealistic sculptures. During the last four decades, Carol has become the most renowned, influential, and popular hyperrealist sculptor. When I went to college, I had to work my way through, so I did illustration, and I got paid for doing 22 album covers, The Rolling Stones, uh, I did Monkey Man, I did Alice Cooper Snake for their world tour book. But when I graduated, I knew I always wanted to be a sculptor, and I wanted to be a hyper-realist sculptor because I love realism. Great technique, resilience, and originality are distinguishing characteristics that define master artists. Carol Furman's sculptors of women are a great example of this. I began making sculptures of women in the late 70s, but I really didn't know how to do it. So I found an artist who said he'd teach me how to work with the resins. And after experimenting and learning how to cast from life, I finally was able to start my first swimmer called Catalina, uh, the swimmer of the girl breaking through. I love to do sculptures of women because women breaking through is important and women artists breaking through is important. But at a certain point I thought, well, men have to break through too. And I did the diver and then I did the double diver, which is 36 feet spirally way into the air. Unlike other hyper-realist sculptors, she doesn't put real clothes on her pieces. All of the bathing suits, swim caps and accessories are sculpted onto the figure as one piece. I love making sculptures. I love to get my hands dirty. I love to cast people. Um, I like to do it all. Because it takes at least a year to two years to finish a piece, I work on many at the same time. Every brilliant and prolific creative professional has invested many hours mastering their skill. There are no shortcuts to mastery. So I had to learn how to really make these pieces um, unforgiving so that they could be outside because I'm the only one that does that. And it took me uh, at least 10 years till I mastered my skill. The entire sculpture is sculpted out of either epoxy or uh, bronze and they're painted with lacquers to look real. And the lacquer enables the pieces to be used outdoors. I do gold leaf, I put crystals on, and a lot of the pieces I put little hairs on. But the outdoor pieces, um, I don't put hair on. And I'm known for the water drops, but only water drops on indoor pieces. Carol has pioneered new approaches to sculpture. Her work has been showcased in exhibitions around the world, placed in selected public spaces, published in several art books and has been purchased by art collectors and philanthropists. My work is owned by 19 museums. I won an award for the World Trade Center. I was one of the 10 finalists. I won the Venice Biennale. I won the Beijing Biennale and the Austrian Biennale. There are five coffee table books written about my career and uh, they started in 1999 to the current one called 50 Years and Looking Good that's just been published. And I'm doing another book, but this is about my autobiography and my life, uh, the life and legacy of Carol Furman. Throughout her artistic career, her style has undergone many transformations, but her passion for art and her love of creating endure. For me, art is everything. I'm art. Without art, I wouldn't be me. Art heals, art makes us happy, art communicates. When I do art, I feel good.